This is a Joe Brasso production from the YF TV team and family, best Tupac Alive channel, and past and present political news. How's it going, my people? This is your boy Wired Up, and welcome to another episode of Wired Up TV. Hope you guys got your hands on the steering wheel and keeping your eyes on the road. Take care of everything you guys got to take care of, no matter what it is, guys. Keep your, uh, keep your focus and do what you got to do. Now, with that being said, guys, let's get down to the video. I want to talk about something real quick that I've been really um, keeping my eyes on and doing a lot of research on it and things of that nature. And, uh, you know, thanks to your boy, Joe Grasa, that brought this to my attention. Something to do with the tattoos. Now, this is Tupac's real tattoo right here in this picture in the in the middle that you can clearly see. But <clears throat> excuse me. But the other pictures um, on the left, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, either Casanova, the Don's arm or somebody in a music video uh, acquaintance. Or something of that nature but as you can see they only show the arm and it is the uh, tattoo you know that's erased there now as you guys are aware um, you know on past videos I showed you guys a picture of Tupac you know as an older man as how he looks right now you know with his hat and things of that nature um, and I did state in that video and in that picture you can see that his tattoo specifically this one right here was not visible was very erased like if he had either taken it off or you know things like that and now uh this picture you know has basically surfaced and uh shown what we told you guys to be a hundred percent true so you guys need to really look into that and peep game and uh peep what's going on with this because um you know as you guys can see this uh the tattoos were removed and you know when you get tattoos removed a lot of the times the uh, the skin will rise up and you could actually, you know, see evidence of a tattoo removal machine or a procedure done on a person, uh, you know, in in most cases. Sometimes when a tattoo is real small and the procedure is done correctly, accurately, safely, slowly, you know, um, you won't be able to see much. But in this one, you can see a lot, you know, the pictures both on the right and the left. Um, not the middle one. The middle one's actually Tupac's arm and a tattoo, but on the ones on the right and the left, you can see clear indication of tattoo, <clears throat> of uh, tattoos being removed. And it's funny because that tattoos are exactly <laughs> like, you know, the, the ones in the middle picture of Pac's tattoo. So you have to look very deeply and very closely and have done your research extent, extently to know you know what we're talking about and uh, what the deal is with this you know what I'm saying but yeah guys this is um extremely extremely good um, evidence and news that has came out and that has showed us basically it's horns not all the way you know we haven't solved anything or anything like that but this is just something that you can present you know when you go to a court of law and you're trying to either convict someone or not be convicted you have to show all the evidence to state your case, right? You can't just go in there and be like, hey, I'm not guilty. Why? Because I'm not, bro. You know, it, does, it doesn't work like that. The judge has to hear cause, and so does the jury if you're being tried by a jury. Now, uh, this is just something we could add on. Now, the picture is some good. The video where I said prior. Now, I had no uh, prior, you know, prior knowledge to this picture when I put out that video and showed you guys that picture of Pac, how it looks now in Cuba. So that's beautiful evidence there. Plus you add this on and us telling you guys that somebody told us close to the family that he either was hiding his tattoos or he had his tattoos removed. Now we told you guys that in a lot of videos before, um, but specifically in that video, which has a hundred, I think, I believe 198,000 views and it keeps growing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, that, uh, you know, we, we, like we told you guys, no prior knowledge. And how do we know that? We told you guys, somebody was telling us close to the family that it is their belief that he was removing his tattoos and hiding some of them. Okay. Now we don't know exactly the extent why a lot of people will, 
you know, will argue, well, Tupac would never do that. <clears throat> and Tupac would do this and he would do that and he would do that. But that's a bunch of baloney. You know, people that comment like that are just plant flat out haters. People that have nothing better to do. You know what I'm saying? People that can't get girls <laughs> or losers or whatever. The, you know, the truth of the matter is nobody knows what the next man would do. You know, what we simply do is we put out the research we do and let you guys be the judge and make up your own mind. And I tell you what I've heard from the people I've talked to and the research I've done. Okay. And of course, what I believe, you know, just because I believe something doesn't mean you have to believe it. I'm just, we're just simply stating what the research we've done and what I believe. And from what, you know, people close to him and family told us that, yeah, you know, he was removing some of their tattoos, you know? A lot of the time when you grow up and you realize certain things and you learn new things, and Pac was about learning, you know, you might, he might realize that he's wrong. I don't know what the case might be, you know what I'm saying? But I certainly know a lot of homies from the streets that got in, uh, hood tattoos and stuff like that. And when they go to prison, they completely cover them because they realize it was silly. Now, it doesn't mean they don't get other more gangster and more, more political tattoos over them. I'm just saying some people grow out of things and move into other things, okay? Now, <clears throat> let's move on to some sweeter. Now, we find another picture here. As you can see this picture up here with the emblem right here, <clears throat> it's the pic that uh, Pac was wearing that night. It was uh, a Nike jersey. You know, I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about, the, the, the world famous Nike jersey, right? And uh, you guys know the emblem he was wearing. He was wearing a euthanasia and an angel of death emblem. It was a big, huge, round one. It was not an octagon one. But here it is, which is a, and you can read this, pendant, Tupac bullet dented pendant up for grabs for 125K. First of all, it's not even the real pendant that he was wearing right when he was shot in Vegas okay that's one thing and uh, two why the hell would you be selling it for so much money when you know is not legit when you know that he wasn't wearing that so this is what interests me and this is what you know has baffled me is who will be doing this and why are they doing this you know what I'm saying True Pac fans and you true researchers know that he was simply not wearing this chain, okay? And another thing, there's nowhere that I've heard from legitimate sources, people that were there, family, people that knew him, that said that he was shot in his chain, right? The only, only piece of evidence that I've ever heard about this is... Somebody said that when Suge Knight called up all the homies and the security guards as soon as Pac allegedly got shot, you know, when they asked, oh, is Pac all right? Should we all leave the club? You know, because they were having a big event at the club. Mike Tyson was supposed to show up. It was supposed to be a big night. Club 662 was the night that they were going to find out if they were going to be able to own the club. So everything had to be perfect. So he didn't want nobody leaving the club. So when they asked him, is everything all right? Is Pac all right? Should we go to the hospital? He simply said, he's okay. He was shot in his chain and everything's all right. He's going to be all right. But, you know, even he stated that on the, on, on the interview that that just simply wasn't true. He never said it anywhere else ever again. And nobody else has ever said this again ever anywhere. So that just tells you plain and simple that it's not true. That is BS. Um, and that he was never shot in the chain. These are just people that are, you know, probably just showing that piece of the piece of the puzzle, that evidence, and trying to rip people off. And I don't want you guys to be, you know, uh, bandoozled by anybody. But the Tupac fans know what's up. They know that it's BS. They know it's not the truth. And he was never shot in his chain, first of all. And that's not even the chain he was wearing, second of all. You know what I'm saying? The true fans know what chain he was wearing and what he was doing and and all that stuff. So... You know, uh, this just really surprised me when I saw this and it just really took me back. And when I, you know, when I looked at this, I was shocked, you know, and the crazy part is that I, I'm not sure if anybody had even bought it yet, you know, because there could be somebody that bought it already. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Somebody that already bought it. But guys, don't be 
you know, bamboozled. Don't be tricked around. Don't get uh, got by anybody. You guys got to do your research. And if you guys don't know where to look or and can't find anything on the internet, you could always get in contact with me at wiredubtv4u at gmail.com. wiredubtv4u at gmail.com. And we'll figure it out for you. We can just simply call the family, friends. You know, we got the connections. And uh, you guys don't have to be ripped off or lied to. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, sometimes you can't find certain things on the internet, guys. Sometimes the internet just doesn't have certain pieces. Either people never thought of it, never tried to research it, or nobody ever even posted it up. Which nowadays, that's rare, but, you know, it does happen. Now, with that being said, my people, I know you guys know uh, what the dealio. And, um, you know, y'all know what's up. You know, this picture on the right, the emblem on the right doesn't even look like real gold, man. It looks like somebody made it out of a soda can <laughs> or a Bud Light can. They simply just um, uh, sanded off the paint or whatever, the blue paint on the Bud Light can. And you, you, you know what I'm saying? And got creative. Don't fall for this, my people. You know, like I said, get in contact with us. If you can't find the real research online. We'll call some family members, send them some pics or some documents or whatever the research you're doing. And we'll find it out for you guys, man. Don't be bandoozled because there's people that love Pac and will buy anything Tupac related. And this just isn't it, man. You know, th th that picture can be anybody right here. Why don't they show his face? Because that's not him. With that being said, my people, keep your head on the prize. Keep your head up. Don't be afraid to be different. Be original. Don't be no copy. F all the haters. And I can always tell you guys, always, my people, always stay wired up. With that being said, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.